Well, I'm joined now by the housing market analyst, Henry Pryor. Good morning to morning you. Morning to you. Um, there's no easy answers to this thing, of course, but of the range of sort of tools available, how do you think they should be used? Well, I think Alan's summary in that package probably encapsulates what the problems are and the challenges that are facing all three of the main political parties. To be honest, I think there's a slight degree of political posturing from Mr Clegg, who perhaps has forgotten he's actually part of the coalition government and therefore arguably responsible for some of the government initiatives uh, that have put a, a foundation under the housing market. Help to buy uh, is generally regarded as something of a whipping post uh, by those who are concerned about the direction of house prices. And there's no doubt that regionally there are some significant differences. London and the South East has seen house prices rise in central London by 40% since the credit crunch in 2007. But I think that what uh, the governor is flagging uh, isn't going to come as news to many of us. Uh, he said uh, previously to the Treasury Select Committee that he's going to keep a very close eye on the housing market. And frankly, th that's exactly what we would expect the, the governor of the Bank of England to be doing. So good news on that score. Uh, now, when it comes to this business of, of, of lenders uh, being a, a bit tougher, if you like, wanting to know much more about people's finances before they actually lend money, is that very realistic? I mean, are you now hearing of cases of people not getting mortgages when they would have expected to get them? Well, this is exactly what uh, the Bank of England has deployed because, of course, raising interest rates just now, 354 days ahead of the general election, politically would be very, very difficult indeed and would cause some serious eyebrows to be raised in number 11 Downing Street, uh, if nowhere else. So I think that what the, the Bank of England have uh, very sensibly done is to use other tools at their disposal. Uh, the Mortgage Market Review, which you're referring to, rather blandly describes these new circumstances and the new landscape for people who want to borrow money to buy a property. It's much harder for them to do so and many people are now finding it's actually much, much difficult, much more difficult for them to do so and therefore to buy a house. It's one of the things that is going to keep a lid both on supply, demand and on prices. But one thing that most people involved in this, certainly the politicians and in fact people like yourself seem to agree, is that what we really need to do is build many more houses. But that in itself is another very difficult thing to achieve, isn't it? Well, imagine if I, uh, in a year's time, were to come knocking on your door uh, as a potential parliamentary candidate with the following suggestion. My party, one issue, we're going to solve the nation's housing crisis. We're going to do that by building more houses. Unfortunately, it means that we're going to probably spoil the view from your house and inevitably we're going to probably reduce the value of your property at the same time. Can I count on your vote? <laughs> Indeed. Because Mark Carney drew the, the comparison with his own country, Canada, didn't he? And he said they build uh, t uh, half as many people, build twice as many houses. But they've got all that open space to do it. Well, indeed. Mr Carney uh, perhaps has, uh, has, has forgotten temporarily that Canada's a slightly larger uh, space. The population pro rata significantly different. In this very overcrowded nation of ours, island of nation of ours, it is incredibly difficult to find a solution to the housing problem. Most of the political parties accept that there is one. The difficulty is going to come over the next year as, they, as the politicians come forward with new initiatives to try and solve it. Indeed, and as you say, with an election looming as well. Henry Pryor, thank you very much indeed, as ever.